Alrighty, wow, oh, that joined uh, pretty darn fast, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I can't stop finding treasure, treasure map. That is where it's at, where it continues to be at. Hopefully all you guys are doing well, watching right now, later on, whenever it is, but I've been continuing, even though it's been a couple days, I've streamed, I've continued with, of course, this splendid variation, very satisfying with the big scary dinos, Carnage Tyrant, Tyrannix Rex, Galta, of course, but mostly these two things that can't be countered, hard to interact with. Previously, I had treasure map in the sideboard, you know, betting on having 12 things that cost two that I should at least see one in basically every hand. I wanted to up that a little bit tonight. Quite a bit, actually. I should be mostly guaranteed to see something for two in every hand with 16 now. Starting off with treasure map here. My oh my. But decks where hunt master would get killed you can see it's a little weak creature oftentimes it does get killed by direct damage fatal push that sort of stuff if i need to take it out i do have a fantastic replacement with pillar of origins my goodness i actually bought a couple more copies in paper there's even a dinosaur in the image there with those hieroglyphs but for two an artifact as Pillar of Origins enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type. Of course, we're going to be choosing Dinosaur. Tap, add one mana of any color. So this helps fix quite a bit. If you are playing, you know, enough dinos to make it worth it, you might be splashing for some dinos. You have a lot of other non-dino creatures, so perhaps Pillar of Origins might not be good. But with this list that has 26 dinos at the moment, sometimes it's been 30 or more dinos that is definitely an amount that makes sense i feel to use pillar of origins here but because it's an artifact we can use it the turn it enters the battlefield we can tap boom make a man of any color possibly you know we played hunt master on turn two pillar of origins on turn three tap it for marauding raptor of course hopefully we're also playing lands but just the fact that it's nice stable ramp fixing now i may delve into a third color at some point here just because well it does tap for any color maybe you know not getting some of the dinos that are two pips two color pips yes heaven go dinos go i'm just showing some of the potential dinos that um i might splash for in the future due to pillar of origins here very very exciting stuff but if i you know bring in a single basic land of whatever color I'm splashing into. I can quite easily grab that basic land if I need it in a pinch with Topiary Stomper or Thunderherd Migration. So we've got eight possibilities to grab that basic land. We've got the treasures eventually from treasure map flipping that can help fix and cast that splashed color dino. But Zatalpa Primal Dawn, it does require two white unfortunately i would like to keep it as only needing one pip of that splash color but later on you know we're not casting zatalpa early game there's a very good chance we would mm, at least have seen a pillar of origins plus potentially grab the planes and be able to cast zatalpa pretty easily that way yeah, possibly awakening sun's avatar but that's getting a yikes a little bit too far gone and with the list having only 18 lands crazy i'm going even crazier there's not a whole lot of room for even a single basic a basic plains a swamp plains swamp island i had a brain fart there but even cutting one thing uh, it's 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 pretty tight unfortunately so um, i'll keep it as red and green for tonight at least volcanic salvo back in the galta removal a two for one lovely stuff taking out shieldred which is always what you want to be doing rampaging frost dawn angels celestia angels white and green do seem to be increasing in popularity but if we want to go a little bit more aggressive of course 
switching out something more costly for Rampage and could do the trick pinging whenever a creature enters the battlefield as always. But the menace too, if they have very few creatures or just one, we get to keep swinging, chip away at them that way. And back to nature, oh, is back in. Uh, it would die from exile. It wouldn't die from a destroy effect. If it had hexproof, only hexproof, and then somebody used uh, destroy all creatures or exile all creatures, it still would get removed that way as well because they're not directly targeting the creature with hexproof. Similar to Carnage Tyrant here. It would be nice maybe at some point we get an indestructible dino. That would be quite lovely. But uh, exile, exile would get around indestructible, sadly. Well, indestructible is pretty durable, I must say. Yeah. Yeah, one day. Who knows what we're going to get in Lost Caverns of Ixalan coming up later on this year. Oh, again, I'm counting down the days. And hopefully tonight I will be counting the wins. We shall see. Bouncing around a little bit, trying to figure out exactly the right mix of spells that cost two. Uh, the Pillar of Origins, Treasure Map. Do I even need Pillar of Origins? I think it's quite fantastic. Do I even need Otepec Huntmaster? That's crazy for me to say, just because I love that guy. Cost reducing, haste, the potential, even though it is a pretty big risk. Dies a lot. Yikes. Can be rough. Ooh, uh, uh, that hand certainly is rough. I mean, if I was on the draw, I might risk it just because I should be getting two lands by turn two on the draw. But there we go. We got two right there. Chandra, Torch of Defiance. Uh, I mean, there's good potential for ramp. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep her in just in case. That could be the deciding factor, potentially. Yes, yes, that is a cup of coffee on my t-shirt. Ooh, we got uh, gruel vehicles, it looks like. Let me just, uh, I'll make myself bigger there for a second. Oh, no, that doesn't really work too well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely one of my uh, all-time favorite shirts, I must say. I need coffee. I'm always drinking coffee. Yeah, it fits. Possibly could have grabbed a mountain there just in case I get a fifth land or fourth land coming up. Be able to go Chandra, take out this painful, reckless storm seeker. Nasty, nasty haste. Ooh, there is. So I probably should have grabbed that mountain, unfortunately. That's all right. We got shifting ceratops, hopefully surviving through the obliterating bolt that might be coming. Hopefully it's not obliterating bolt or the acrone war to steal. Okay, okay, this is looking all right. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, they don't attack with this stuff, okay. That I do like. We do get to... Ah, you know what? I'll pretend like I don't have a dinosaur here. I can pay one or reveal a dinosaur. Not able to use that extra mana anyways. And that's looking good. We know they don't have an obliterating bolt, which is a pretty big positive for us, I feel. Another land next turn does mean Tyrannix Rex, which is going to be, oh, quite painful for them. They still have a potential two for that obliterating bolt. Uh, Love Struck Beast as a, a 6-5. That's not fun. I will take it out. Lovely. I don't want to take six from that guy. Hey, Dr. Gazooks, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. Oh, yes, definitely having the lightning bolt. Give it that steamy look. 100%. Hey, work's been exhausting lately. That is uh, all good. Huh, now I'm wondering. Chandra? Yeah, just Regisaur. Get a bunch of bodies down. I know, again, they don't have Obliterating Bolt likely. Hopefully, they don't have the Akron War, but I imagine we would have seen that before, and they would have stolen Shifting Ceratops. Leave the token back. 
It is nice to have two bodies. I think that could deter some of their aggression nicely. Yeah, I haven't been able to stream as much as I would have liked. Ouch. Painful. Yeah. All is good. I am well. I'm getting to do this again. Oh, Sky Sovereign. Some, somebody's crewing the Sky Sovereign. I would have figured they'd crew the Sky Sovereign, give it haste with Reckless Stormseeker, and then do uh, some painful stuff that way. Now the question is, do I want to kill the Werewolf Pack Leader? Yeah, let's, let's just uh, get it out of the way. I like the sounds of that. I want him to draw less cards. Ooh. You know what? Chandra Torture Defiance. We're going to smoke the Reckless Stormseeker. That could hopefully set them back at least a little bit. I would like to save her for the ramp. Plus one and give yourself two red mana. That really would have nicely helped to accelerate things. I know they're doing something to it. Yes. Oh. And they're playing the Bone Crusher and crewing the Sky Sovereign, sadly. That's all right. Yeah. Still make some good stuff happen. All is not lost quite yet. But it is going downhill a wee bit. Keep up that aggression. When Sky Sovereign attacks this turn, the three damage would go to the token, so might as well get some use. Oh, that's going to do it. Sadly, the Akroan War ugh, is painful. My goodness. JDX, how's it going? You won your fourth first place at Chess Club Weeklies in Classical. Yeah, well, that is uh, definitely, definitely good stuff. Congratulations. Okay, well, Hunt Master. That's going out like I was mentioning. For some of you guys who didn't catch it, if there's some list where Huntmaster likely is going to die, the plan is bring in Pillar of Origins here. Nice, stable ramp. We name a dinosaur. We tap for one mana of any color for a dinosaur. But Volcanic Salvo, they got some impactful creatures. It would be nice to take out two of them. I'm just going to trim Vivian Monsters Advocate. I'm trying it out finally tonight. Might try it out, well, a few days here. Get a good feel for this version of this fantastic Planeswalker. Playing a creature off the top, making a token. Minus two when you cast a, your next creature spell this turn. You search for a creature with lesser mana value, put it onto the battlefield. It gets really nasty, but again, we do have to make room for the fantastic two-for-one Volcanic Salvo. Galta, well, I'm going to actually trim Galta. Pretty crazy, I know. I just don't want Galta to get stolen. If we can't take him out in one hit when they steal Galta, that is uh, a painful, painful time indeed. Ouch. Oh, look, beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. Hey, Cut, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. All is uh, definitely well here. Day is going good. Uh, the snow is melting outside, and I love that. I do love the snow, but eh, it's nice to see it go eventually. It's still pretty cold, especially in the morning. My goodness. Huh. You know what, Thunderherd Migration, we're going to reveal that Marauding Raptor. Maybe it would have died, but we got to keep in mind, we need a forest to have Castle Garenbreak enter untapped. Next turn, we can go with that. Parallel of Origins for two. Tap that, play Marauding. It's going to be uh, a good time. Oh, interesting. Very interesting, but... Uh, this, this I love about Pillar of Origins. So we can tap Pillar for two. I can play actually another Pillar. Oh, what am I doing? Another Pillar, boom. And then both Pillars tap for Marauding. See, I think that is quite fantastic there. You can't deal damage and take out Pillar of Origins. You can't steal it. It's not a creature. I mean, some tribal decks may be 
other than humans, they don't have uh, such a full focus on that specific tribe. They have other types of creatures, but yeah, yeah this, uh, this variation seems to be doing it. Now, Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, well, definitely. Topiary Stomper, we're not at seven lands yet. Maybe I would have played Topiary Stomper before I had two Maraudings out, but, you know, with one or two, it both still costs, uh, Topiary still costs two. And next turn, we're going to get two pings, and we'll be able to make use of those pings. No, oh, but maybe they will double block Marauding, which would actually be pretty nice. It would help us out. Topiary Stomper would then live next turn quite nicely. And oh, Essica's Chariot. Huh. Makes me suspect they might have another one in hand. The Acroan War. Oh, that is actually quite interesting, I must say. Volcanic Salvo. Oh, that would have been lovely to go with. Sadly, we can't do it this turn. Next turn. Oh, this, what am I thinking? Yes, we can. There you go. Topiary Stomper has power. And, uh, huh. they have enough to take out Carnage Tyrant. I would like to take out something bigger, more impactful with Volcanic Salvo, but I'm just going to clear the way of these two cats. Then I can safely attack with Carnage Tyrant and it's not going to die. If they play any little creatures, of course Marauding Raptor is going to ping them. If they play another Essica's Chariot, the Acroan War again, huh? Topiary Stomper not doing a whole lot for them because they can't block with it. Oh, and we got the Tyrannix Rex. There you go. Boom. Lovely. Thumbs up. Oh, we didn't even need those treasures. But I'm sure Treasure Map is going to feature at least a few times tonight, as it has in the past. Keep things the same. Yeah. Well, actually, back to nature to take out the Acroan War. That's something I should keep in mind. They steal Topiary Stomper, not that bad. Chances are they're not really ever going to get to seven lands. Usually that doesn't happen. They got the nice ramp with the eight elves, four Elvish Mystic and four Land War. Just texting my wife there. Yeah, I'm thinking back to nature. When they do steal something, we're going to take it out. Rotting Raptor. Yeah, you know, they could steal it. They could kill it with obliterating bolt. I'll still keep it in, though. Take out Chandra. Maybe one shifting Ceratops. I know shifting is great, but it does have that four toughness that dies to the four damage from obliterating bolt there 18 lands cloaked phantom yes it's getting crazier and crazier but i like the math behind this i should almost always see two lands and this variation of dinos is focused heavily on a lot of things that cost two that accelerate to continue the game plan keep the hope alive blitz and bullet i've never played blitz myself but uh it's, it seems to work out, yeah. T-Rex coming to save the day, you said it. Absolutely. I mean, there we go right here. We've got the nice stable Thunderherd migration. Uh, there's a 98, 97% chance with 18 lands that you should see two of them by turn two if you're on the draw. It goes quite a bit less if you're on the play. You have one less chance to... Uh, draw unfortunately but there we go we got thunderherd to fix to grab a red next turn we can go castle garenbrig marauding plus topiary and you know we're well on the way right there bullet is uh 
one or two minutes. Man, chess. I'm always used to chess taking so long. Magic as well. There are some matches where you know, Azorius control or something like that can be pretty painful. Unfortunately, they're establishing a painful board at the moment. Almost didn't grab a, another source red there. And you got to keep in mind those two mountains, technically we could turn them into sources of green when we use Castle Garen Brig or well, if we can use it and get its ability to happen, hopefully. But yeah, I'll link, uh, link the article a long time ago, um, Frank Karsten, for any of you guys who know that awesome player, he wrote up about the chance to see lands based on how many you have in the list and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, I like 18, 19, lots of acceleration, ramping, stable, or, you know, it's kind of scary with Marauding Raptor. Sometimes that doesn't always work out. Now the question is, well, they could quite easily kill us next turn. Werewolf Pack Leader, one of them would go to a 5-3 plus the other 9. We can't risk it, sadly. Marauding, maybe not as well. Now, one Marauding. They won't be able to do much of anything to Tyrannix Rex, which is quite nice. Hey, yes, hopefully you do sleep well, Dr. Gazooks. I'll put the chapters as always for you, anybody else watching. I always try to add the chapters right when the stream is finished. And hopefully we make something happen here. They can't steal Tyrannix Rex, which is quite nice. They don't have an extra two. Interesting. No, you don't want to attack with the Elvish Mystic. Drawing a bunch of cards is a little bit painful. But we take out one. We can take out the other ones coming up. Or potentially just kill them with Tyrannix Rex. If we draw another card. Or another land next turn. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, let's think about this. Volcanic Salvo to take out Werewolf, Pack Leader, and Elvish Mystic. Uh, I like the sounds of that. Regis or Alpha is 11. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to take out these two things. Yeah, we'll keep things back. Maybe killing creatures further with Volcanic Salvo or the Tyrannix Rex just finishes them off, but being at four, I think, was uh, too scary, unfortunately. Yes, look at that. You can't play elves and nothing. Ooh, this could get ugly. Interesting. Huh. Well, they still don't have us quite yet. Oh. No blocks. I'm liking this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it out. I don't want to go down to two. I really would have liked to keep it. Hmm. Yeah, if we could have just played another Tranix Rex. I think it's got to be Volcanic Salvo. Take two from Bone Crusher Giant and hope they can't stomp us next turn. Hopefully they don't have anything with haste. Yikes. At the very least, Love Shrug Beast can't attack, which that is quite thrilling indeed. But of course, let's get that Pillar of Origins. Lovely stuff. Now we're going to have to watch out for Lair of the Hydra. That actually 
Well, I wouldn't quite finish this off. It's got to be shifting ceratops, so definitely. I just hope they don't draw another bone crusher. Okay, okay, one, two, yeah, that'll do it. I mean, it almost did it. They had us, they could have attacked with Lair of the Hydra. So fortunately that uh, did not happen. Hmm, now can we do something, anything to possibly save ourselves? Castle Garenbrig for six with Pillar of Origins. A total of seven for dinos. Marauding two. You know, I like the looks of that. Let's do that. Oh, we need two red. Oops. That will do it. I should have just done Tyrannix Rex, uh, but it, our back was against the wall, sadly. Eh, that's all right. That's all right. We'll get her done. Uh, as always, Gruel Vehicles has uh, some pretty fantastic aggression, I must say. Having a sweeper, I would have appreciated that. I hope enough aggression can get through. I have enough bodies that... Maybe I don't need a sweeper, but of course there is lots of lovely and powerful aggro things, and a sweeper is never going to be a bad idea. Wow, okay. All those lands, tons of ramp. You gotta hope with eight, ten scary dinos, there's a very good chance we'll see one of those to help benefit from all this uh, fantastic potential. Yes, yes, I have seen that as well. I have uh, three copies, I believe, of that sword. It would be good in the sideboard, but again, I don't face Gruel vehicles a whole lot. It would be good against Mono Green as well. Whatever we attach it to is unblockable, and that would be a possibly a very scary clock. I'm going to play it safe, though. Thunderherd Migration for two. Reveal Marauding. Likely they have removal for whatever creature we play. Next turn, we're gonna be at four, so Marauding for two, Topiary for two. Yeah, yeah. Protection from red and green, and the impulse draw. I'm thinking I really should get on the Sword of Forge and something, something like that. Help against mono green, help against gruel vehicles, and don't look back. Dreadbore, 100%. Fortunately, the sword, I mean, on Arena, effectively it was free. I had tons of gold. I opened up a bunch of packs, and I do have a lot of rare wild cards. But I gotta give the sword a, a, excuse me, a serious go at some point here. Boom. There's the Rex. I saw all that ramp. I knew there's a very good chance we'd see somebody nice. They have to take out the Rex or else they're dead. Oh. Got him. Boom. Back to back Tyrannix. Hard to stop that. My, my, oh my. We kind of got flooded there, which you would never expect with 18 lands, but again, it can happen to anybody. Phew. Wow. That was over pretty quick. Mono black devotion. Very scary stuff. Warlock class here. Maybe you guys have used this deck, but just in case you haven't. Enchantment class from uh, Dungeons and Dragons Forgotten Realms. If they get to level 3, it says at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. Basically, it's all over there. If a creature hits us for 10, we would also lose 10 and definitely be dead. It's, it's very painful. Very explosive and nasty. Frexian Obliterator, I imagine they have. But hopefully Dreadbore Cut, we do get at some point, and that might help push me into Jun Dinos. Of course, I'm already in red, but splashing for that single black would not be trouble. I'd add uh, just a single Swamp quite easily. Again, be able to grab it with Topiary. 
or Thunderherge or use one of these treasures again to uh, take out any creature or planeswalker. Very, very nice removal spell. But uh, bad things are probably going to happen at least to Huntmaster, Mono Black, Fatal Push. I don't like that. Pillar of Origins it is. Now they do have a sort of enchantment sub-theme, something like that. Source, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. I just uh, smoked them quite nicely. Mono Black Devotion with two Tyrannix Rexes here. Phyrexian Arena, uh, Warlock class. I kind of like the Back to Natures. I'm actually going to take out three Marauding Raptors. I still feel quite comfortable. There is a ton of stuff for two. Most of it is stable, but the Back to Nature taking out potentially Phyrexian Arena, maybe double Warlock class, something like that. And look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Four lands, what I was just talking about. Topiary Stomper to get us a Source Red, but we do have Treasure Map, which is very nice indeed. Oh, and Temple of Abandon, but of course we got to go with something. You can't fatal push a treasure map. Double shot of whiskey. Oh. Getting her going. Topiers. You know what? They don't have any enchantments yet. Maybe I don't need back to nature. Maybe I don't need all these lands. Nah, we're going to keep up the ramping plan. Possibly get... Not quite. We won't be able to go Tranix Rex next turn, but with the lands we have at the moment, we will get there. Well, hey, you know, whatever uh, gets you going. Indulge. Ooh, ooh, oh, hold on a second. We gotta take out Lillian of the Veil. I almost didn't uh, see that. Shifting haste. Get her gone. Don't ask questions. Now, would have been nice to start treasure map, get a landmark counter, get scrying, that sort of thing. Ooh, painful. Maybe I should have kept that back to nature, but I do have three, so oh, they're getting rid of Tranix Rex, that's for sure. Ouch. Okay, well, we're going to keep ramping, maybe get Galt next turn. Now, really what I should have done here... Unfortunately, I didn't do it. He played Topiary Stomper first. He shuffles the library. So if we kept something on top, of course, it's likely getting shuffled off the top and going somewhere else. And then we also have the Scry from Treasure Map. So in this case, it definitely would have been better to go Topiary first. I'm always used to playing the lands, but yeah, sometimes I do forget. Send shifting to the bottom because again, likely it's going to get uh, somewhere other than the top. Oof, I like Regis or Alpha. We potentially could see Regis or plus Galt next turn. We do have enough. Well, maybe not anymore. That would have been nice though. Well, we're definitely going with this guy. Oh my god, look at that. Fantastic stuff right there. Yeah, keep up the nice pressure. They don't have a whole lot of removal and they have little creatures. Seems we have uh, some pretty good aggression. Definitely. Either they make us discard Galta, not too much trouble there, or we just get Tranix Rex. Hopefully they don't destroy a land with, you know, Field of Ruin, something like that. Make us shuffle whatever it is off the top. Oh boy. Okay, well, definitely go with Treasure Map. We get those three treasures, and uh, we should have enough for Tranix Rex and Galt. Let's see, we're left with... Yeah. Alrighty. Bing, bang, boom. Hopefully they don't sweep us. That would be quite painful. But Tyrannix Rex being odd man of value, Galt and the token being even. We do uh, dodge Extinction Event a little bit. Fortunately. Meat Hook Massacre. Uh. Hmm. 
Okay, not too bad. Got him. Oh, ouch. Lovely. Okay, 18 land dinos. Doesn't seem like it works. You think dinosaur, you think they're too costly. But again, get some done. They started playing Is It Murktide? I've read a little bit about that deck. It is very scary stuff indeed. Oh yeah, definitely. It takes a while to get used to cards, especially with the scrying. For the past four years, I haven't done a whole lot with scry, even though I've loved it. I really should have been using Treasure Map more often, but sometimes, you know, it takes a while trying out all kinds of different variations. But eventually, you know, you settle on something. And, uh, yeah. Playing the Scry Land, playing something that is going to shuffle the card off. Yeah. You get there as long as you have a fun time getting there. But actually, I'm just going to... Before we get into the match, I'll search up that article I was talking about that goes into detail about how many lands you need and the chance that you will see them. Should pop up, okay, okay, here we go. Then you guys can uh, read it at your leisure, definitely highly recommend doing so. Oh yeah, okay, popped up right there. But yeah, if you scroll down, there is uh, the chart, and you see 18 lands, the chance to see two lands by turn two. It's pretty big, I must say. Three lands, things start to go down, but if I have so many things for two and there's such a high chance to see two lands, I think I'm good, as it seems to be good. Oh, the lines, the triggers. Is it Murktide? Uh, man, it's always seems scary, especially uh, with the namesake creature. Oh my goodness. A nasty, nasty potential. Yeah, it takes lots of practice. I think a lot of it is practice. Practicing against the matchups, whether it's a popular deck or not. If you practice against them, give yourself the best chance and... Uh, well, you do better than you would have otherwise. You see here, you know, there was one land. There's another hand with just one land. Do I like this better than the first one? Do I try for two, one more? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to keep this. Again, going back to the reasoning that I should see a second land. Coming up, of course, going first... We do lose out on one draw. But if this was a Temple of Abandon, our first land for the turn, we scry one. We kind of turn, you know, uh, being on the play into seeing two draws. Technically, if that land wouldn't have been on the top, you send it to, what well, else is painful. You send that to the bottom and uh, you hope for a land. Commune with dinosaurs, I love it. Cloaked Phantom, absolutely. But Cloaked Phantom. Here's Supreme Phantom. That was kind of neat. Uh, Azoria Spirits, though, this is going to be painful if we don't get something coming down, sadly. But yeah, I was thinking about possibly Commune with dinosaurs instead of maybe Treasure Map to start. Commune with dinosaurs, turn one, of course, would smooth out, give us a really good chance to see that second land that second land should basically be somewhere in the top you would imagine now let's discard treasure map hide some of our information although uh, it's going downhill but yeah i think i should give commune with dinosaurs a serious go with this list that has a low amount of lands just because it would be an absolutely fantastic thing to do turn one it might allow for a little bit of greedier keeps and late game of course you know we're gonna dig five chances are we should find something scary Ugh. let's uh let's try out try out game two but uh that was definitely pretty rough 
one land in the top 10 definitely something you should not expect you never know there's a small two three percent chance that you know we don't see that second land by turn two uh, this is probably a 0.5% chance something like that but it's not a 0% chance so that's just how the game goes sometimes spirits though hmm we want to keep all the stuff in that can't be countered definitely they have counter spells Dami Anarcha Bulls well it probably would have been pretty good yeah keep it like that uh, Volcanic Salvo possibly Take out some of those big flyers. Ah, Vivian. Let's take out Vivian and Galta. I think we might be able to establish enough bodies that Volcanic Sahovo would be absolutely devastating. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, funny you should mention that commune. It, I was thinking of working it in tonight at least. I'll probably jam a bunch of matches after this with commune and, you know, they perfectly... Reasonable starting hand, like I was mentioning, Temple of Abandon, lovely. To maybe get that second land, we don't need it. Of course, a forest, I do like. If they deal with Marauding Raptor, of course, I want to keep the game plan alive. Modern Dinosaurs list, ooh. Uh, Thrasta Tempest Draw, I believe, from uh, Modern Horizons 2. I would love that, hopefully. Yeah, I might just do modern dinosaurs featuring Thrasta, not doing anything uh, super crazy to cheat her out. But there are a lot of cheap dinosaurs, Thrasta costing three less, I believe, uh, based on the spells you've cast this turn. You could be playing Thrasta for dirt cheap. I'd be quite excited for that. Rancor. Hmm. I would like to do Rancor. I've messed around with it a little bit before Pioneer existed. It was just the dinosaurs in Standard and then Modern. There was no Arena, no... nothing like that, sadly. So, uh, yeah, Rancor is uh, pretty impactful. It's like the world's best trample equipment, even though it's an enchantment. Rattle Chains might not save them. This is good stuff. But yeah, definitely Thrust the Tempest Roar would be the first thing I look to add for a modern dinosaurs list. Oh. Hopefully we get a land that comes into play untapped so we can play the second shifting, but that's got to be an absolutely scary thing for them. I don't want them drawing more cards next turn, so I'll probably hold back this shifting and threaten... The possibility of reach maybe they have slip out the back hard to say uh, although topiary stomper is tempting nah we're gonna stop them from drawing cards that's for sure hopefully with them being in white they don't have any removal that can hit shifting i'll be crossing my fingers that's for that's for sure Yes, get get the increased power, get the extra draw out of the way. This is good. Take away their card advantage, at least some of it. But they must uh, not be feeling too good after that. Oh, lovely. We got another shifting. We have one green left over with that other Temple of Abandon, so we'll swing with this shifting here that can attack since we've controlled it since the beginning of the turn. And the shifting held back should deter most or maybe all of their aggression. Hopefully it's not a wandering emperor now that I think about it. Ouch. You're back. Cavern of Souls. Oh, Cavern of Souls will be absolutely amazing. My ultimate prediction for Lost caverns of Ixalan. You know, hey, that lines up name-wise pretty nicely. We get a Cavern of Souls reprint. I, I feel that's a pretty strong case for Lost Caverns just because it's got cavern in its name. Man, that would be lovely. Hopefully that happens.
Rattle chains with indestructible. Interesting. Curious obsession, huh? Do I want to take it out? Uh, kind of tempted to take this out. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it reach. Take out this guy. Hopefully. take. Okay, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Stop them from drawing a card. Take out a creature. Rattle change isn't indestructible anymore. I'm liking the looks of that. I'm also liking Carnage Turns. That's also quite scary indeed. Hopefully they're stuck on counter spells in their hand. Oof. Feels pretty good. They could have a sweeper, of course, but we might be able to slam Tyrannix Rex next turn if we get another land, I hope. Maybe they draw a sweeper here. Have to do... S oh, okay. Nothing, nothing. I imagine they might not have sweepers just because it is Azoria spirits. Of course, I'll basically leave pretty much everything in. A little bit of life gain, a decent amount of enchantments with Curious Obsession here. If they get that early, uh, I hate that card advantage. Sometimes it's hard to deal with them. Deal with this if they get a couple hits off. Especially if they slap two Curious Obsessions on something. Yes, good game. Absolutely, thank you very much. I mean, this is an ultimate scary list. Just with Shifting and Carnage and Tranix Rex. Volcanic Salvo. Uh, there's probably a low chance, pretty low chance that we're able to use it. I'm kind of feeling back to nature there. Take away their card advantage. Quite nice if they have uh, Witness Protection. Some enchantment that, you know, turns off our creature, whatever it is. Back to nature, taking that out would also be quite nice. Yeah, Pillar of Origins. Bringing a single copy of that just uh, increase the potential for ramping. All right. Hopefully a nice hasty shifting ceratops. Of course, that would be lovely if we can get an early Otepic Huntmaster. Not the case, but of course this hand could be a lot worse. Oh, look at that. Plenty of lands, lots of stuff for two. We got Carnage Tyrant, so I think there's a very good chance we get to that. Hopefully their aggression isn't too crazy to start off with. Oh, no, no, no. Sadly, sadly it was not, but Dorothea, Vengeful Victim. Oh, they said, okay, they have to sacrifice that at the end of combat. Two for a 4-4 four, four flying, that seemed pretty darn good. But Thunderherd Migration, we really want to get one turn ahead this turn. Possibly, I mean, well, we've got Shifting Ceratops, what am I thinking? I didn't even realize I drew Shifting, I was so excited to go Thunderherd, but boom. Get Shifting down one turn sooner, they better have something. I guess they attack five damages quite a bit, but again, they do have to sacrifice Dorothea. They lose the Curious Obsession. Doesn't seem too good. Oh, there is back to nature. Oh, hold on a second, folks. Dorothea, when they do the Disturb thing, Dorothea's Retribution is an enchantment aura. So we can actually cause them pain and suffering. By going back to nature, they sink all that mana one, a white and a blue, into disturbing this and... Huh, okay, okay, this is good, this is good. I'm quite excited here. Yeah, we just go shifting this turn, possibly Carnage Tarrant next turn, and it may be all over after that. They won't be able to disturb Dorothea's whatchamacallit. Skyclave Apparition is not fun, but I feel like they could disturb Dorothea next turn we'll definitely pay the two life maybe I go Carnage Tyrant maybe I don't Carnage Tyrant probably is the best thing here but let's think about this the thinking dino next turn they go disturb for three they might be able to 
counter back to nature. Hmm. Makes it a 4 4 spirit. Ah. Yeah, I don't really like that. Okay. Treasure map for two. Back to nature. Hopefully, it doesn't get countered. We'll see. This could be bad. Scary. They might cast Geist Light Snare, something that would make us spend extra mana. So hopefully, well, we only need to spend an extra one. Two, huh. Yeah, we'll scry with uh, Treasure Map, but I would have expected them to disturb Dorothea. Huh, maybe they think something is up. Hopefully that's not the case. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, good old Carnage Tarrant. Won't use Treasure Map yet, just... Uh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that could be painful. Oh, that thing is Flash. I probably should have read about this. Hmm. Well, well, well. That might do it, especially with Dorothea's retribution. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I would like to take that out. I guess I can take it out next turn with Back to Nature, potentially. And treasure map is going to flip. You got to keep that in mind. I'll put the second landmark counter on. Lovely stuff. Okay, all is not lost. Tranix Rex. Will it be playing it next turn? Not. It would be nice to have, but. There could, oh, that, oh, another Carnage turn. Well, man, big scary dinos all on the top. My goodness. But definitely, let's get this treasure map flipped. Have a nice total of oh, marauding. I like the potential of marauding with Regis or Alpha. But again, do another Carnage turn. We're not quite dead with Kyodai, Soul of Kamigawa. Huh. Well, I'll just attack with this one and hope they don't flash in some more stuff. Wait and see if they do anything. Put a stop before it goes to combat, just so they don't make another 4-4 four, four something. 4-4 four, four spirit with flying. Cross your fingers, they don't have a counter spell. If they do, that's going to be painful. I suspect they might with all those cards they have in hand. Yeah, well, that's, that's all right. That's how it goes. Man, interesting. I don't remember the last time I faced Azorius spirits. Ah, that was pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Hmm. Flying can be quite painful, I must say. Eh. Can't quite get her done. There were uh, bigger flyers for sure. And just Dorothea's retribution, always making an extra flying spirit, even though it's sacrificed. A 4 4. Ooh, that's a, a painful clock, especially if only. Um, Shifting Ceratops can, you know, put a stop to that. Yikes. And if a spirit is just white, excuse me, we do have to trade with uh, whatever mono white spirit they're attacking us with. And that is a little bit painful as well. Ouch. 
the new remastered set yes absolutely cut i would uh, definitely suspect that's the case spell queller i'm very scared of spell queller that is uh oh, that could give me nightmares but i would imagine still we're pretty well positioned with so many creatures that can't be countered this hand definitely i want to keep even though we don't have two potentially untapped mana on turn two hopefully well putting topiary stomper to the bottom means we draw a mountain a forest coming up here yes yeah, spell queller very scary stuff i must say yeah. a little bit slow Oh, Fires of Invention. Well, we do have Back to Nature. Uh, it could get ugly. Certainly, probably going to get ugly right here. Back to Nature is going to make them cry. Tears. Painful tears. Yeah, marauding. We'll try our luck at the very least. Um... But uh, having that turn three fires is not going to be a good time. Yeah, that's all right. I'm just happy I have something that can really bring the pain in the sideboard. I don't always, haven't always used back to nature. But it seems like the enchantment decks, I'm facing them at least uh, quite a bit more. Before the season reset and with the season reset here, there's a lot of them. So the one card... The best card for a deck like this does feel nice to have three maybe four is overkill i definitely like three copies of back to nature versus two just to see it that little bit more just because it is so impactful against this specific deck and we'll try our best see if we can make something happen either in the next couple of turns but uh chances are that's probably going to be it for this game at least. Let's see what they get with this enigmatic incarnation. Sacrifice an enchantment. Search the library for a creature with mana value equal to one plus the sacrificed enchantments mana value. It's always nice seeing what creature they grab, what they think would be the best thing to grab. Yeah. You just never know. It could be literally any creature. Nylia's, uh, whatchamacallit. Searching for a creature with a mana value of three. Well, that, that, that tends to do it. Yeah. That's okay. Back to Nature is gonna bring back our chances. Chandra, yeah, we gotta cut something somewhere for the fantastic tech that we just brought in. Rampaging Frost on. Sometimes they have a lot of creatures, but not always the case. Skyclave Apparition is quite painful. And we gotta keep in mind that when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non land, non token permanent. So it's not just creatures, they could be exiling the Pillar of Origins, sadly. Volcanic Salvo would be nice to take out something big and impactful, but I think back to nature probably Should be enough to get the job done You would hope we let them Expend a bunch of mana sink a bunch of resources into establishing stuff and then Smoke them not even seeing one land. Ooh, that is that is painful Okay, boom. Well, there we go infinitely better hundred percent Nice to see treasure map, but uh, yeah. Will be nice to start using treasure map. Hopefully we get a third land next turn. We can go the second treasure map plus activate the one that's already been out. But yeah, we definitely got to start activating it now and Thunderherd migration. You know what? I'm going to send Thunderherd to the bottom and cross my fingers that it's a land instead. I want to keep activating the treasure map here. Any, oh, okay, good stuff. 
Now the question is, uh, fires of invention next turn plus enigmatic incarnation. They wouldn't be sacrificing fires. Another treasure map it is. Then activate this one. It's going to be nice flipping. Oh, and we got a castle Garen break coming up as well. We're on our way to shifting Galta, Regis or Alpha quite nicely. Interesting. Okay, okay. Oh, they do sacrifice the fires of invention. Elish Norn uh, should have held up back to nature. Ouch. That was pretty painful. Let's see what they do. Of course, we're going to flip this treasure map. That's got to happen, 100%. Now, what can we play and still have two left over? for back to nature. Shifting ceratops, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And then we'll see what they do, but we have enough for back to nature and that's, that's what we want. But yeah, that was painful. Olsamir. That might do it for us. Ouch. Should have listened to my gut and held up back to nature. Well, we're not dead yet, but... Sometimes you miss a key window and bad things happen. It's been quite some time, fortunately, that I've faced Alesh Norn, Mother of Machines. Hmm. Well, we got six with Castle Garenbrig, plus two treasures, a total of eight. Doesn't get us a whole lot. Regis or Alpha. Possibly get Galta next turn, but uh, oh yeah, never mind. Turns off the token. What am I thinking? Now nah, we can't can't beat that. Sadly, yeah, that's all right. That's how she goes. Some nights, enchantments, painful stuff. Actually, I'll leave the deck list up. Uh, just gonna go to the washroom quick, but I'll be right back peruse it, browse it. If you have any questions, suggestions, something you want to see, try it out. Definitely open to that, but uh, yes, don't go anywhere. See you in a second.
All righty, back at her. Yeah. See, we faced more enchantments, but uh, at least it was in there. Makes me feel better knowing I have it. Maybe it just takes out um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That would still be pretty fantastic as well. Not the best use, only taking out one enchantment, of course. But just that, quite valuable indeed. Very complicated, for sure. I was... I just gotta keep Alesh Norn in mind. That is a painful stopping Regis or Alpha from making a dinosaur token, but again, Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, can help us out a bit. It turns off Marauding Raptor's ping of two damage, so we can stack a bunch of Marauding Raptors, potentially be able to play dinos for dirt cheap, and it's not all bad. Otepic Hunt Master, if Elesh Norn is out, well, Otepic Hunt Master survives, never gets pinged. We play Otepic Hunt Master for a single red, and the opponent might just be dead. But this is looking good. Turn one thought sees, hey, it's got to happen at least a couple times a night. We got lots of, oh, shifting ceratops, interesting. Chandra Torch of Defiance, I do like seeing that. We got lots of good stuff coming up. Hopefully they don't get rid of Thunderherd migration. I'm crossing my fingers for that. Oh, lovely. Definitely figure they would have taken out Marauding. Play it safe. You can't fatal push a basic land. You, you can't deal with a basic land. They could Field of Rune to take out Temple of Abandon, but again, it's not going to be doing a whole lot for them. Yeah, we'll go Chandra, do her plus one to add two red, play Marauding, and we're off to the races there. Lovely stuff. Love this ramp. Man, it's a, it's a good planeswalker. Oh, I never would have guessed. Hey, that's all right. If they want to pay for to take out that, it's not going to stop our aggression. Take advantage of them being completely tapped out. Definitely get Regis or Alpha down, get some bodies, get some damage on them, apply some pressure, and well, we'll see what they do. Graveyard Trespasser, not so bad. Hope they don't have a go for the throat to take out Regis or Alpha. Does not seem to be the case. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I caught myself. Good stuff. That was a close one. Thunderherd migration. We search for basic land, but we are shuffling. I was, I'm very excited. I remembered to do the thing that shuffles, whether it's Thunderherd or Topiary, and then do a thing that scries. Temple of Abandon here. Oh, Marauding. Yeah. We got tons of ramp. We should be able to. We are able to play Carnage Tyrant or Tyrannix Rex easily with all the mana we have. Wow. Lovely stuff. Fade a push. Yeah. That's alright. But yeah, you gotta hope. You gotta figure. There's a good chance to see Carnage Tyrant or Tyrannix Rex at some point here. We haven't seen. Either Galta. Galta, I like. Hopefully, Regis or Alpha stays alive. Oh, got him. Whew. And that's another thing. I got to mention that before we move on to the next game there. It was very exciting. Two copies of Galta. I've done this for probably a few weeks now. Only two copies of the Queen. You can see how impactful that was. It just absolutely finishes things off. Tyrannix Rex and Carnage Tyrant probably would make the opponent pack it in, but for those times where they don't have removal or whatever, Galta really just drives it home, especially if you can attack with her. And we could have with Regis or Alpha there, but she just drives things 
home more often than not and i would like to see her a little bit more often two hasn't been nearly as often as i would have liked so i think uh, after tonight i might increase it to three copies definitely would feel a lot better but uh, pillar of origins like i'm saying in matchups where Huntmaster easily gets killed, take it out. Of course, we saw Fatal Push a couple times. But you can't Fatal Push this. That's the thinking. Volcanic Salvo, likely they have Shieldred, whatchamacallit. Take out Vivian. Two Maraudings. Still lots of stuff for two, definitely. Maybe could just completely cut Marauding. Haven't tried that quite yet. But uh, definitely still feels good. If I ever did cut Otepec and Marauding completely, lots of stable things for two, that ramp. And the game plan still should uh, go ahead quite nicely. Could go ahead quite nicely with this. We got a source of green. We got Thunderherd for turn two, hopefully. We didn't see Thoughtseize turn one, so that is nice to know they don't have it. Definitely fake makes me feel quite good. Boom, you see two lands in Thunderherd, you see three lands. Might be a little bit slower, but still. There you go. We can go treasure map next turn and put the first landmark counter on. These gifted Aetherborn are going to be kind of troublesome, though. Unfortunately, hopefully treasure map gets going fast enough, but it might not be. They'll pull ahead quite a bit with the life gain, although Tranix Rex with the poison counters might just be enough to get her done. If we can get 10 poison counters on them, yeah, well, that'd be nice. Keep Topiary Stomper there, potentially. The thing underneath it wouldn't have been a land, so might as well stick with topiary i know i'm gonna get a land i'm gonna get a body i can't use unfortunately but i will get a land at the very least definitely a lot of scary stuff at least these gifted either born only have two power three well, that would have been pretty painful i must say We could get there. Hopefully Regis or Alpha next turn if we get to a fifth land, that is. Hmm. Ooh. That might do it. Three, four, seven. Probably going to do it. We'll see what happens. Try for treasure map, but Graveyard Trespasser, oh yeah, Graveyard Trespasser flipping goes to four power, plus the Gifted Aetherborns, uh, yeah, yeah, that definitely, definitely does it. Shander might have been nice, but still might not have been enough, sadly. Might go back to 19 lands, but if you guys do read or did read that article you can see the difference between um, 21 20 19 18 to see two lands there's not really much of any difference there is some difference but not nearly as much as you would think it's quite similar to see two lands with those amounts technically like i was saying temple of abandon keep it use the scry to get to the second land in a sense we had two draws because we're likely sending the top card to the bottom hoping it's a hoping it's a land going by the math 97 96 percent chance that we should see that second one coming up oof yeah that's how it goes no, uh, painful. Okay, well, we'll get rid of Galta. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Liliana. Nuts. Well, there's 
maybe a low chance that we get the volcanic salvo, sadly. Oh my goodness. Top 10 cards, one land. He was, uh, yeah, that tends to do the trick. Shifting Ceratops. Uh, oh boy. Oh uh, yeah, let's, let's pack it in. Ouch. Oof. Nuts is right. <laughs> That's okay. When you play one deck, try with so many variations, do some crazy stuff, and there is an increased chance you have moments like that. But again, you could have 24 lands, and still, there's a pretty good chance you might get mana screwed. Everybody will get mana screwed at some point. Guaranteed, whatever you're playing, it happens to everybody. Unlucky, yeah. I mean, the math on that chart from that article doesn't lie. But if you play enough games, uh, well, you might see back-to-back -back games like that, hands whatsoever. But I have one. I I have one. Quite a few games now with the turn one Temple of Abandon as my only land. I scry. I send something that isn't a land to the bottom, and that card underneath was a land. So it helped out. But, uh, oh, there's two lands. There we go. We'll keep it. Hoping to get a third one for shifting and hoping to get some more stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Looking pretty good, although mono black aggro, it appears. That could be painful. Ouch. I would like to go marauding. I imagine they have removal for it. But if they don't, it will be nice to go shifting ceratops. So I'll, I'll go with marauding just in case. Ooh, yes, Soren, which can cheat out the new Galta and Maverin, Fane, whatever. Oh, oh, they wanted to kill it. I figured they would have cheated out some big, scary thing. But yeah, the new version of Galta is a dinosaur vampire, so Soren Imperious Bloodlords minus three. You may put a vampire creature from your hand onto the battlefield. You get to put Galta onto the battlefield because it is part dino. I like Temple of Abandon. Let's keep that. Oh, I got the fourth land here with Castle Garenbrig untapped. So next turn we can go Chandra, Torch of Defiance, and maybe take out somebody or just Shifting Ceratops. Oh, Calatus, that's... That's who I'm taking out with Chandra. Yes, please. Actually, no, I can't. Never mind. Can't do that. Ah, nuts. Marauding? Well, we'll keep that. Temple of Band in this turn just because it comes into play tapped. Has to enter at some point, and if we weren't going to use it this turn. Yeah. Oh, oh, they stole Marauding Raptor. Well, that um, that tends to do the trick. We're not busting through all of those, but you saw how much life gain they had going on. A decent bit. Soren can give a temporary life link to a vampire as well. Yeah, that's going to be nice to put a stop to that. Of course, Pillar of Origins, yes. I want that big time. Volcanic Salvo, take out Soren and maybe a big vampire. That's going to be quite nice. Vivian, eh, we got to say goodbye. Chandra, hmm. Yeah, we got Volcanic Salvo. Chandra maybe only taking out one thing. Volcanic Salvo taking out two things. Hopefully. Of course, Huntmaster has to go, sadly. Shifting Ceratops. Well, I think Rampaging Frostodon is going to be a better use, at least in this matchup. seeing all kinds of stuff tonight. Usually, I always see a wide variety of things. It's quite nice. And that hand, boom. Lovely. 
three lands, lots of stuff for two. Exactly what I'm hoping to see. Treasure map, uh, maybe. Let me think. Imagine Marauding's gonna go down. Marauding, we don't have anything that the cost reduction would help to accelerate next turn. So might as well be Pillar of Origins to make sure we get some stable ramp. Potentially, we could play something for four or Topiary Stomper. It's more stable, that's the idea. Next turn we could go Marauding plus Treasure Map which I'm going to try for, and hope it survives. Fatal push. Shield Rid Z-Nicked, okay. Hey, at least that's one less of this Edict that could potentially have made a sacrifice to Rex Rex here. Ooh, they see the Rex. I think they'll, I don't know. Okay, okay, they're not too worried about the Rex at this point. We're still a little ways away from that. Thunderher migration is going to help out quite nicely. Get us a little bit closer. All right, at the very least, we could get Regis or Alpha next turn. Okay, we well then. We won't be getting Regis or Alpha next turn. Volcanic Salvo, not so helpful. Rampaging for Alcidon. Yeah. I want something more impactful. A Carnage Tarantor, a Tyrannix Rex. We will be able to play either of those if we happen to get it. And it will reduce Volcanic Salvo quite a bit. Hopefully taking out Calatus here. All right, let's scry and there it is. Good stuff, good stuff. Definitely get this treasure map going. Yeah, yeah we're keeping that big scary guy. Whew, okay. Hopefully we're able to go Tyrannix Rex plus Volcanic Salvo next turn. I think there might be a decent chance of that. Man, those things are getting big. Okay, okay. So, Castle Garenbrig for six. Definitely. Yeah. Let me think, is there a different way I can do this? I don't think so. Pillar of Origins, two, uh, yeah, yeah. Gotta be this way. I just hope they don't make us uh, sacrifice this guy. Hopefully we'll survive till next turn and we can go with the Volcanic Salvo to uh, buy us some time. Yikes. What do they got going on? Oh, five, seven. Oh, exactly lethal. Uh, tends to do the trick. I forgot about plus three, plus three. I didn't think it was quite that much. Yeah. That's all right. I've had uh, fantastic games from the other side like that. The mono red matches. Very, very satisfying. Probably some of the most satisfying wins when mono red takes you down to within a sliver of health but then you got the nice aggression with all the haste from regisaur t-rex that sort of thing and you surprise them with lethal they thought they had it in the bag and then you snatch the win from their clutches
<sighs> Alistar. Hmm. Oh, love it. Love it. Fantastic. Beautiful Temple of Abandon, even though we got two lands. Get something. Yeah, maybe another land on top or uh, Thunderherd Migration. Might as well. Something nice and stable. Another nice and stable thing. If it is something uh, black, okay. You got to expect black when they have the Shieldred Avatar and... Uh, Turn one thought sees. Well, a lot of black stuff tonight, I must say. Bring the pain again. We've got nice, stable things happening. Hopefully, they don't get rid of Thunderherd migration. That's what, well, I mean, even if they do, we're going to draw another copy, so it's not bad. We at least have two dinos. If they got rid of one, we still could go with Thunderherd next turn. Okay. That's quite all right. You know what I want to do? What makes the most sense don't need double red yet maybe if i was sitting on chandra i would get a mountain play it safe train rex of course does need a lot of green so don't want to not be able to play them oh and stomping ground as well definitely taking the ping thunder hurt again big time Could go out Tepic Huntmaster, but again, I feel they're going to take it out. Just play the treasure map, even though it doesn't really have a whole lot of impact. It is harder to deal with. It's always nice if you can play treasure map and then use its ability, pay one, scry, put a landmark counter the first turn you play it. But still, that is definitely much more stable. Another treasure map, we don't need that. Temple of Abandon, we get to scry again to, oh, we don't need a hunt master. So we're two, two turns ahead. Two things I didn't really need, want to see. Hopefully they don't have that fatal push, but we're at six lands now. Pretty good chance we get to a seventh land next turn. They see Tranix Rex and hunt master. Okay, hey, fatal push. That's all right. We could be seeing the T-Rex next turn and yeah, that's going to be nice. Whether or not we live a long time is another question indeed. Well, we can go treasure map plus Regisaur at least. Oh, another one. Well, we already got one in hand. That's all right. See if they have another fatal push, but at least we got two bodies. Definitely going to hold back both of them. take out some stuff next turn that's the idea at least Ugh, that arc fiend of the draw is not not a nice thing now oh, that's gonna suck <sighs> yeah we can't uh we can't take him out arc fiend of the draw says uh Whenever a creature we control dies, uh, we lose two life. So both of these things would die, we lose four, and Arcfiend would just kill us next turn. Sadly. Ugh. Nuts. Yeah. Can't win them all. Yeah, definitely. Again, switch Huntmaster. Hopefully we get some nice aggression going. Volcanic Salvo, certainly I want to take out Arc Fiend of the Dross and any other Death Touch creatures. That's going to be helpful indeed. Again, a nice two for one if maybe you don't want to attack because some stuff has Death Touch and your creatures will die or something big and flying. Like this Arc Fiend, it's got six toughness, but Volcanic Salvo does six damage to two things. That's going to be... Uh, the one I'm hoping to see. Yeah. Take out a Shieldred and an Arc Fiend of the Dross would be quite fantastic indeed. Ooh, that's, hey, I can work with that again. Quite lovely. Two lands. We got Volcanic Salvo. Probably Thunder in my grill. We don't really need a... 
we might we might need it i'm gonna keep that just because i have the two lands down the line playing a bunch of pillar of origins could be pretty helpful stable ramp that sort of thing but uh, definitely thunderherd let's get to that second source of red for volcanic salvo at some point here hopefully a forest land next turn we go double pillar of origins and that's going to be looking pretty good Ooh. topiary stomper huh let me think definitely topiary get to four we couldn't have gone pillar of origins plus topiary didn't have enough sadly but next turn we could go double pillar or Regis or Alpha, or just shifting Ceratops. Just increase that total power and make sure we can get to Volcanic Salvo at some point. That Tenacious Underdog is gonna be a, a pain. Oh, three Pillar of Origins, my goodness. Well, we'll go with two of them. Yeah be able to play just about anything carnage turret would be nice shifting ceratops if we get another land we can go shifting ceratops next turn plus we still have three left up for volcanic salvo Let's see what we draw though hopefully a carnage turret we do have topiary stomper so if they want us to sacrifice something um at least we have another body. It's not just Carnage Tarrant and we gotta say goodbye to him. Very, very sad when they make us sacrifice that. Rotting Regisaur. Hmm. Well, that's not... Well, I guess he could expect it, but... Yeah. Huh. They're playing their own dino. But we got some nice options here with Marauding. That changes things. Rotting for two. Regisaur for four would be quite good. Pillar of Origins for two. We'd have three pillars plus... Uh, da, da, da. I kind of like the looks of that. Pillar of Origins, Marauding Raptor, Shifting Ceratops. Yeah. Well, let's do that. Didn't really want to attack into the rotting regisaur anyways okay i think there's a good chance we should get volcanic salvo next turn especially with the three pillar of origins be able to somewhat easily play regis or alpha and still at least be left with two red might have to take a bunch of damage this turn unfortunately there's a fatal push. Yeah. Seven from rotting, or we take out tenacious underdog. I like that. I like taking out a body. Oh my goodness, that is extra painful. They're really bringing the pain to us this time. Okay, okay. Well, we can't go Volcanic Salvo plus Regis or Alpha this game, sadly. At least we do have two bodies. Hopefully they don't have Fatal Push for the token. Rotting Regis or probably is going to finish us off if that is the case. Keep making them discard stuff. Ouch, man, that's a lot of life gain. Kind of makes me wish I was using my own Shadow Spears. I haven't used that a whole lot. Oh, in the past, but... Uh, huh. I guess we're kind of getting flooded with the ramp, unfortunately. Now the question is, attack with one of the things and hope that Rotting Regisaur blocks bringing down its toughness to within range of Volcanic Salvo. I like the sounds of that. Actually, you know what? We're going to hold off for a second here. 
they're pretty scared to not attack. That feels pretty good. Seems they didn't have any removal for that little token. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take it out. Tadly. I hope. Ah, okay, well, we're not dead. Oh, we are dead. Yes, what am I thinking? Exactly lethal again. My goodness. It's a lot of unluckiness tonight. That's all right. You never know what you're going to get. Certainly keeps things interesting, I must say. Never would expect a rotting Regisaur and Shadow Spear, but that is a nasty combination. Ember Cleave, of course, on rotting Regisaur tends to do the trick. I've done it a little bit in the past. Uh, but rotting Regisaur can be quite painful, especially with the discard. They let him make us discard something and then use removal on it, and we never get a chance to attack with it, sadly. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely cut, I must say. Well, I must say this hand is not a great hand. Technically, I should see two lands by turn two on the draw, but uh, man, I would never keep a no land hand. It would be pretty cool to win with a no land hand to start, but uh, no, no, no. A little bit clunky and awkward, this one. Still don't have two lands going to be entering untapped. Two lands untapped on turn two. So hopefully we draw a mountain, a forest, a stomping ground, something like that coming up. Oh, there you go. Boom. It is a forest. It's going to help Castle and Gearnbrig enter untapped. Hopefully what I am facing is not um, indomitable creativity, something like that. It would be quite painful, but a mountain, just in case, maybe I want to go Chandra Torch of Defiance next turn, ramp, plus Otepic Hunt Master. Okay, they're tapped out. I like that. I'm going to take advantage of Chandra plus Otepic. That seems good to me. Lovely. Hopefully they, if they take out anything, it's just Huntmaster, because we still will see Carnage Tyrant, even if that's the thing they drop. But a hasty Carnage Tyrant would be nice next turn. Oh, okay. That, that was painful. They did what they had to do, sadly. But Thunderherd Migration plus... Topiary Stomper is uh, definitely what I want to do. Super duper ramp. Reveal a creature that was already revealed. Lovely stuff. And we got Carnage Tyrant next turn. No matter what happens, again, hopefully it will be hasty. Of course, I'm going to take out Narset because they could have shenanigans up their sleeve making us draw lots and them draw lots, but we can only draw one card because of Narset's ability. Usually when you see this, you know something not fun is about to happen. It's usually not a good time. Six. Oh yeah, Carnage Tarrant plus Shifting Ceratops, exactly. I like that. Oof, and just hope they don't have a sweeper. That was nice. Maybe they have some, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It could be, is it control? Something. Mind Splice Apparatus. Might be too little too late. Got lots of scary stuff. Alrin's Epiphany. Digging. Hoping. Trying to give themselves a chance. Oh, another Alrin's Epiphany. Just keep.
keep uh, uh, taking turns. Um, it's... Oh, you got to be kidding. My goodness, tonight is the night of unluckiness. Wow. Alrens, Alrens, Alrens. Fortunately, I don't run into Alrens that often. My goodness. Alrens. Or something else nasty. Hmm. I, I wouldn't necessarily call this fun to face. I, mean, I imagine it's fun to use. Who doesn't like taking extra turns? Yeah, six birds. That's not going to be a fun time. Well, they can't go that out. Oh, oh yeah, they can. What am I thinking? Oh, my goodness. How many cards do they have in their library? 40 cards. So in the top 40, or the top 20, we saw all four Alrin's Epiphanies. Do, do, do. Doesn't get a whole lot more unlucky than that. That tends to do the trick. You just don't uh, don't get to play anything. Ouch! But uh, mind splice apparatus. Don't have anything that takes out artifacts. Sadly, thrashing brontodon, of course, would be lovely in this instance. Worst case scenario, of course, thrashing is a fantastic body, being a three-four. Lots of other things to take out artifacts, but. Uh, we just don't have it because this is not uh, super common to face. Yeah, you just never know. Again, uh, a very night indeed. Vivian, uh, yeah, I'll try and go as fast as possible, but um, nothing you can do against that. You sit back, twiddle your thumbs, and hope they don't have uh, Alruns, Alruns, Alruns. Yeah. Okay. Well, cut a bit more Chandra. A little bit of ramp. Don't have a whole lot of... They have a little bit of interaction. Maybe they'll bring in more, seeing what the deck was all about. They, uh, they got lucky, that's for sure. But it's a lot of blue stuff. Shifting Ceratops, of course, staying in, dodging the Magma Opus. It's part blue, so they can't deal four damage to shifting. They can't tap shifting. We fly right past all their blue creatures. Still going strong, Junior? Yes. Absolutely. Try my best. Doesn't matter what you play, you will run into painful times and... Yeah. Hasn't stopped me yet. It won't stop me. Hmm. Let me think. Don't really have anything enchantment related. Oh, actually, uh, Rampaging Frostodon. Could be a little bit better for the aggression side of things. They got lots of birds. Rampaging itself is a pretty cheap creature, so we might get some more hits early on, especially with uh, Otepic Huntmaster. Give it haste. Hope for the best, and... No Source of Red, unfortunately. And that's another thing. Just uh, upping the Sources of Red, just to see it turn to a little bit more consistently. We don't need a whole lot of Red, of course, Green is still much more important for shifting, needing two green. Topiary Stomper with reduction, you can only spend green on it. Yeah, I'll keep it. Just because I like seeing the three lands here. And there could be likely something else for two that gets us the source of red or just gets the plan of ramping ahead and going. I think it's a newer avatar, yes. Yes, heaven. New-ish one with uh, Shieldred there. Pretty new. Ooh. Well, well, hopefully we draw a fourth land next turn, but hey, if we're not playing anything, they're not countering it. They're not uh, killing it with their damage base removal. It's not all bad, but that Magma Opus going to the graveyard could mean we're about to see something nasty. Hey, there's a fourth land shifting. 
pretty decent, I hope. The darn mind splice apparatus. Hopefully the shifting is going to provide enough aggression that we can get something done, make something happen with two shiftings this turn. Hmm. We shall see. Hopefully they don't have much or any red-based removal, but um, it's looking better, that's for sure. Okay, they got nothing for the shiftings. Their back's against a wall. They have to chain multiple Alruns. But even if they do, that's not going to get them a win. The birds, the blue birds can't block shifting. They've got to do something. Shifting's probably the bane of this deck's existence. Quite a bit, a very scary thing. I think they can go Alruns. It costs seven. Mine's place has two counters. So Alruns would cost five without being foretold. Magma Opus, they can't go with that. Uh, yeah, okay. Crack with power. Oh, interesting. Well, shifting ceratops it is, or carnage tart. Okay, okay, that's good stuff. I like it. That's not gonna save him. He can't play Alrins with a mountain. Or maybe it's a, yes. Oh, got him. Thanks to shifting. Oh, fantastic. Definitely, I like this more than Rip Draw. I think shifting is more useful more often. It is pretty painful. Rip Draw Raptor, you maybe don't draw anything. It's with its enraging ability. Whenever it's dealt damage, you draw a card, but too often I wasn't getting any benefit from it. Of course, it's very nice against aggro and stuff, but late game, you top deck shifting Ceratops, chances are. You can play it and give it haste. It has, of course, the protection from blue. We won because of shifting 100%. Phew. Oh my goodness. All right. I kind of thought Mind Place Apparatus was an enchantment, but uh, it's an artifact. Yeah, a little bit. A touch of artifact hate. Single target or maybe destroying all artifacts destroy a few mm, yeah. nah well nah we'll try for something a little bit better maybe if it was a forest in Castle Garenbig just so I knew I had two untapped on turn two hey there we go definitely quite good although I'm thinking I'm gonna send Regisaur to the bottom these two things carnage shifting I want to keep that hope alive of playing the big scary uncounterable stuff hard to target oh thunderherd well definitely I'll play it safe especially nice seeing them tapped out but uh, likely because they could have used removal on marauding raptor maybe I go shifting next turn if we draw another land oh okay well, 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 that changes things. I'm going to try for Marauding. Cross my fingers. See if they counter this Topiary. Hopefully not. Could be good. Very good stuff. Okay, I'm liking the looks of this. All right. We got Carnage Trent next turn. Doesn't matter if they take out Marauding. Obliterating Bolts. I mean... That's fine by me. Carnage it is. I like it. I think that was my best bet. They possibly could have had something at instant speed that might have been able to target shifting. Something just red-based, uh, removal-wise. Try for this. 
see if my hunch was right. Yes, there you go, folks. Woo. Got him. Good stuff, good stuff. Touch and go. Some of those matches, but uh, yeah. yeah. It was nice to highlight the big, scary, hard to deal with things. Yeah, definitely shifting, I feel, is more more better, more useful, more often than Ripjaw. But Ripjaw just has really good potential. Maybe I start using Ripjaw Raptor in the sideboard a little bit more often. For quite some time, uh, it was Ripjaw Raptor always in the main, always starting off. It is nice to get those extra draws. Just have Ripjaw to start off with against Aggro. But again, we've seen a lot of varied things tonight. Yes, that was a good game. I was very scared. It was very lucky. It was, I will admit, hard to stay positive after that first game. Uh, Alrons, Alrons, Alrons. But I knew that was completely unlucky. You definitely should not expect to see back to back to back to back of those spells. But anything can happen. I'm wondering about this. I do like Huntmaster. We do have two sources of green. If Huntmaster is alive, we would still be able to go Topiary. I'm going to cross my fingers. Seeing my only two copies of... Well... Okay, no, that's... I mean, it's not too bad. We got the third land, but... Mono Blue Spirits on the play. With Curious Obsession. Uh, that might just do us in. Uh, hopefully it's not Geist Light Snare coming in strong. Geist Light Snare. Something. Hey, hoo ha! That's all right. Bound to happen. Oh, that's probably going to do it, I must say. Two curious obsessions. Chances are they have more counter spells. If they didn't have a counter spell, there's probably a good chance they just drew it. Yeah. Well, I'll take the ping and just hope this isn't countered. If it's countered, I'll just I'll pack it in probably. Oh, it's not. Well, things just got interesting. Shifting Ceratops again might save us. That Ascended Spirit um, likely is getting flying. Probably. I would expect it gets flying. Hmm. Oh, that Supreme Phantom. Supremely painful. Man, they would have had no cards if we would have been able to take out Ascendant Spirit a little bit earlier. Or they just wouldn't have had those curious obsessions. Oh, okay. Okay, we got uh, we got something we can give Shifting Reach. I imagine they can't do anything. So at the very least, uh, that Ascendant Spirit will be going away next turn. Yeah, you can't target that. You know, at a minimum, we would take four from Supreme Phantom and Rattle Chains. Yeah, just uh, make it bigger. We're still probably dead just because we are so low, sadly, but at least we can stop ourselves from taking seven. do something eventually maybe they forgot shifting can have reach no you, you can't bounce it you're not doing nothing we survive for another turn Yeah, no, that's uh, that's too bad. Maybe 
things would have been a little bit different if perhaps we were on the play, but you never know. Being on the play, though, is uh, definitely one of the most important things. Vivian, Monster's Advocate. Uh, I wish I wasn't cutting her quite as much as I have been tonight. Would be nice to play a bunch of creatures off the top with her ability, I must say. I try, I try, Sir Maximilian. Always try, always will. Keep trying. Can't all be perfect. Doesn't matter who you are, a world champion or just uh, some guy who always plays dinos. Some sessions will be uh, more painful than others, that's for sure. But back to nature. I kind of just want to bring that in. Shander Torch of Defiance. Eh, probably a pretty good chance if we tried to cast this, they would take it out. Eh, Pillar of Origins, a little bit more ramp. But back to nature to take out those curious obsessions. If they didn't have those, they would basically be out of gas. They drew uh, a lot of stuff. Yes, more dinos in the next set. I think some more dinos. Well, hopefully more than just one. The Galta and Maverin, of course, being green and white. Eh, it could be a little bit difficult to play. I'm going to try it out, definitely. But hopefully we get um, at least another dino in the new set coming up. This, though, I mean, I do like seeing shifting. Lots of stuff for two. Yeah. I'll keep that. It's uh, not a whole lot better. But still, Pillar of Origins, I like. I don't like that. Curious Obsession. Oof. That might do it. That might do it. Oof. Yeah. Well, we'll try for one more turn. Cross your fingers. Where's that land? Yeah, well, we got it. Probably a pretty good chance whatever we play is countered, but we'll try. Would be pretty cool to bring it back around. Oh. Oh, it's not countered. That is interesting. Maybe we're saving a counter spell, the Geist Light Snare, for something more impactful than just that. I would feel pretty positive myself if I saw the stumbling that was happening from my opponent as it's happening to us. And, uh, oof, where's that back to nature? It would be nice to take out this card advantage, drop him down a peg. Yeah, we're not, uh, nah. we're not going to bust through that. All those cards they have, and uh, yeah, a little bit more unlucky than some nights, but it was still a good night nonetheless. Pretty fast match there. Yeah, can't win them all. That was good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Always enjoy it, no matter what. Fun matches definitely cut. So, thanks everybody for watching. Whether it's right now, later on, have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, whenever it is. And yeah, see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow night. Crossing my fingers. But uh, as always, I try to do as much as I can, whenever I can, whatever I can. And yeah. Peace. Have a good one.